I think Tim did a pretty good job with his first script. I think anybody who wrote that as their first script should be pretty damn proud. <laughs> um, yeah, I would love to be in in other pieces of Tim's. I think that he really surprises me sometimes because some of the conversations, you know, they feel like, I don't want to say mundane because that sounds like it's boring. I think mundane means boring, but you know, they feel like everyday conversations, but then how like drop these little bombs and you're, you think, whoa, that was so philosophical. Like, whoa, that was like, that was a really strong opinion about something that I didn't even think of. I think that Tim is very poetic. And I think that that's another really uh, special thing about his writing and storytelling that he is able to, again, combine some really complex stuff with some really simple stuff and it doesn't feel forced. Um, I think that's really unique. I, I, if he wrote more, I would hope that is what I would see in his work. I think that that would be a true signature of his, of his writing. Hi, my name is Natalie Arena and I play Destiny and Salvage at the Hudson Theater. If you want to learn more, listen to it here. I learned about this play. I, I got an audition for my agent and I read the script and I'll first I'll say I I come from a deep love of musical theater. Um, if someone said, you're going to die today, what do you want to do? It would be performing a big musical and sing that, you know, end of the first act number. That's 100 percent my dreams. But um I absolutely love straight theater as well. And I love storytelling that's simple. And there's something so exciting about a play that incorporates music. Um, music is so informative in our everyday life. If we're sad, we turn something on. If we're happy, we listen to something. If we're walking through the grocery store and a song is on, it will remind us of something. Um, so to be in a play that, is so driven by song is very exciting. So that was one of the first things I absolutely loved about the piece. Um, and I loved the idea of getting to play a dreamer. Um, I do a lot of really dramatic acting work and something I kind of put into the universe and something I was hoping for since, you know, the last year, especially was, working on projects that uh, are a little lighter, um, that I don't walk away from every night feeling so heavy. And Salvage was totally a gift. When I read the character, I, I thought, wow, it's so nice. She's such a hopeful person. It would feel good on my body to get to have that experience every night rather than something like really tragic. Without giving any anything too much away, um, the, the four characters in Salvage are, uh, myself and my husband, Harley, who is a, a dreamer, a struggling musician, and I am a very pregnant lady and he is planning to get rid of his guitar and give up his dreams to support our family. And, um, there's some really like fun dynamics within that. It's very relatable for me as a young person and actress. I, you know, it's, you think all the times, like, should I stop doing this? This is so hard. Will I find the success that I want? And I find Harley struggle to be really relatable. Um, so you've got this guy who's a musician and he's giving up on his dreams. And then I play a character that's there to build him up and tell him that, what he is and who he is, is who he's supposed to be. And that's the reason that I fell in love with him. And that's the type of man that I want our child to be inspired by growing up. And then you have um, the bartender, Johnson, who he's been working at this establishment. It was his father's bar for several years. And you've got the preacher who, um, has really kind of fallen into the slum of life and has gotten really stuck in his ways. And you see how talented he is and 
you see that there was a time where there was hope for him and you watch the preacher and Johnson, who's the bartender, essentially, they, they have a long history with one another. And in the play, they butt heads and they learn and they rehash old things. And ultimately it's just a very hopeful piece, despite any, any darkness in it, um, which is really, really just lovely. So the amazing music and songwriters, uh, several, several parts of our show are written by Mark Hurd, the songs, um, who I might get this wrong, but our, our playwright, uh, was a dear friend of his and he took the songs and built a story around his beautiful music, um, a lot of his songs are just like poetry. It sounds like you're, if you're just reading it off the page, it sounds like Shakespeare almost. Um, Just so beautiful and so poetic. Melody, catchy, just all, it's all in all, just such good music. Um, And I, I also believe our playwright, Tim, there's a song in there that he wrote too. And it was to like, to connect a storyline, but majority of the music is Mark Hurd. So some things about my fellow actors and our director. I'll start with David Atkinson, who plays my, well, I don't know if I'm allowed to say he plays preacher. (laughs) And um, I just absolutely love working with him. He is such a soulful actor. Um, Like looking at him in his eyes during the latter half of the play for me, he's so easy to connect to. Um, He's very much a very open vessel. Leonard, uh, who plays uh, Johnson, I wish that I got to say more than a couple lines to him on stage because I absolutely love listening to him work backstage. He's just such a powerhouse. Um, I wish that I had more interaction with him because he just, it feels like he'd be so fun to work with and play with. Um, and then Sam who plays my husband, the best, the, the, the part of the play that I love the most with Sam is getting to sing a little duet with him. He's just so much fun to sing with and harmonize with. And he has such an incredible voice. Um, And I always feel like that little chunk of the play, it's just such a fun way to connect. You know, when you can't talk, you sing, when you can't sing, you dance. And it's, it's nice because it comes at a a part in the play where I don't know what we would say next. And it's a nice way to just like get it all out to sing with him. Uh, And he's just such a fun actor to work with. Uh, He's really been my buddy throughout the process. And then Damien, our director, He's been an unbelievable collaborator. He's given us lots of opportunity to share our thoughts and talk and given us space to explore, which you don't always get that with the director. So it's very exciting. Um, yeah, it's just such a cool crew of people. Everybody, everybody is really loving and warm. Wonderful, wonderful crew. I want the audience to walk away from the play with hope. I want them to walk away feeling like, you know, dreams are hard and that is part of, that is part of dreaming. I think a lot of times we associate the word dream with um, something that maybe comes, would come easier. You know, it's kind of a magical word. Um, And I think the hard things are, actually what make when dreams come true or even when dreams change, I think those are, those are the most important parts, the hard parts, because they make the reward so much greater and they make the journey so much more interesting when we have these goals and these things that bring us joy and watching them morph throughout our life. I know that I've had dreams that have changed in, in all different types of ways as I've gotten older. And I think that that's a really beautiful thing. People should come to the production of Salvage because after a year of being inside and not getting to see live storytelling, um, I think it will truly invigorate them. Uh, It is such an exciting, it gives you adrenaline to go see a show. Um, 
I, I feel like it's so important to have, I mean, theater is an ancient art that is dying. And I mean, not just salvage any play, go see it, uh, keep it alive as long as possible. Um, but I, I think people should come see Salvage because it's so exciting to see both live music and a play happening at once. Um, and it does at times feel like you're in like a, a living room listening to other people sing. It's not like just an old school musical where people are putting on the glitz and the glam. It's, it's really people uh, sitting around and making music and talking. And I think that it's a really wonderful visceral experience that everyone should come come hang on, hang out with us. Hi, my name is Natalie Arena. I play Destiny in Salvage at the Hudson Theater. We run until November 14th on Fridays and Saturdays at eight and Sundays at three. We would love to see you there.